welcome back to the channel. This is my twin. We are here to go on another um, book library thing. Mini little book, little free library. You should probably introduce yourself because he hasn't been here for a while. But this is. I was there when you went to when we went to Nova Scotia. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think everyone knows me. I'm Ben. I'm her little brother. Books aren't my thing. Where have but... you Where have you been? I <laughs> yeah yeah so I actually disappeared for three months um when we went to Nova Scotia on vacation I'm assuming most of you have seen that video I actually decided to stay there with some friends for like three months and work you didn't and come back no I didn't I stayed I made a lot of you know okay. and and yeah, I had a good time sightseeing I was hustling pretty good all the money's gone now I blew it oh but here's our stack of books for today to um give away I guess just put in the boxes not really looking to take anything home really is the goal um, how about I, I mean, I think you guys have seen most of these, but what if I just, um, show the book and you tell me what it's about? So this is Artemis. Artemis? I'm gonna say it's about, um, one of the Jupiter's moons. Okay, pretty good. It's is about Artemis Jupiter's a Jupiter? Moons. It is? No. Wait, is Artemis about, a moon from Jupiter? It's about our moon. Oh. Oh, I don't know if it is actually. Gothicana, this is a, uh, one-star book. Gothicana? Gothicana, Gothicana. Goth is it about, uh goth barista from starbucks that some um finance guy finance bro falls in love with <laughs> kind of a little close finance bro kind of falls little... in love with no, goth a... barista from starbucks we have this book that you gave me i pulled this from a little library out of town somewhere yeah and from you, saint t you brought this home to me for some reason i'm a good brother what can i say what's it called Unexpected Love, Seasons of Redemption, Book 3. I'm going to say it has something to do with a religious love story because seasons are very often um, associated with the Bible. So it's a season of unexpected love. Wow. Was I right? I don't know. I've never oh. read this. Anyway, I don't, I'm not going to want to read this. Um, then we have Kitchen Princess, Volume 4. This one I'm getting rid of because I'm gonna I, have, say I have them. I don't need another one. It's a cooking anime or something. It's like Cooking Mama. Mama. Ma Cooking Mama. Oh my goodness, nostalgia. Wow, you wow. can this in mama. <laughs> we also have another manga, volume one of Restaurant to Another World. This one I did read. I'm gonna say it's about cooking for aliens. Yeah, it's like cooking for um, fantasy characters, but it was like, it was just needless um, fetishization. Oh yes. So we have um, The Greenhouse. This one again, I have two copies of it. I haven't read it yet though. The Greenhouse? Is it about a depressed girl who grows flowers to get away with her sorrows? It takes place in a Peruvian town situated between the desert and the jungle. Like the Greenhouse is like the Amazon. It oh, sounds really good. Then you didn't read it? I, no, I'm gonna read I have two copies of it. Oh. The other one's at home. I have the- someone is about to get such a good one. We have The Hour of the Star by Clarice Lispector. I already read this, but again, two copies. Even though this one is really nice. I'm gonna say it's a really deep dive into something really intellectual or really close to the soul, and it's just like not worth my time. <laughs> You're kind of good at this, but it is worth your time. We have- I don't read. The Girl from the Other Side, um, also a manga. I'm gonna say it's about a girl from some alternate dimension that steps onto Earth and then does stuff and things. Does stuff and things. Stuff and things. Okay, Girl from the Other Side. Uh, we have Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. This one I did read, didn't like it. I'm gonna say it's about a girl who fell in love with a guy one summer while she was in high school and then she got really depressed after and relates every other guy she's with to the guy she met that summer. Don't even bother reading them, <laughs> just come to it. Did I get it right? Ben's wow, That's dude, pretty good. these are all too easy. have, again, just double copies of everything. A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Say it's about a rich versus a poor city, basically uh, kooks versus uh, pogues, like What's that? John B. Bring her home, John B. You don't, you never watched um, Outer Banks? No. We have oh, The Count of Monte Cristo. Dude, it's Again, a, a double, just it, a double. It's a story about some dude named Monte Cristo who's probably famous for something that I don't care or know about. Okay. Yeah. We <laughs> should make this an entire like video. Series? And then you should, you should actually read the book. I don't read. Okay. I'm dyslexic and have ADHD. Reading is not my thing. Oh, maybe I should build you another bookshelf so that like you have more room so you can take more books. We wow. should actually. We got so many ideas piped up. As we long just... as you've improved since the desk may happen. Yeah, the desk was bad. I spent three months doing construction. A lot of, lot of carpentry. So you probably. Um, I'm pretty good now. I built, okay. you see my closet. My closet's pretty nice. Let's go. Let's hit it and quit it.
to tell us what's inside. All right, we got little cruelties, what's which that? seems like a love story. Okay. The the Chris. Ooh, Christy affair. The Christie affair seems like a YA book. That, no, 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 Agatha oh, Christie. Who's Agatha Christie? Who's Agatha Christie? Three, no, two Nora, four, four Nora Roberts books. We got Rules of Vengeance, Ven <laughs> Vengeance, by Christopher Reich. Uh, Ooh, we got what's Mac that? Nailey's Dare by Lawrence Sanders. Sorry, my fingies are in the way. Okay, amazing. Wow. We also got Debbie McComer. What is this pretty. one? Tomorrow's Promise. By Sarah Brown. It's a Sandra. So, oh. Dude, you really are. I told Have you. Have you ever taken a test? Nope. This one looks kind of good. Dish. I don't know. Oh, it smells? Do you smell that? This one smells really good anyway. Why is she smelling the little library? We have pound for pound. It's a boxing story. We have the truants, a mystery. I feel like I've heard of this. I think it's Dark Academia. Daniel Silva. We have Ocean Prey. What is this about? Coast Guard. Ooh. Okay. Uh, oh, Mom wants to know. It is The Order. Have you read that one? Oh, she's taking it. Ella Montgomery. That's cute. The Other Queen. Philippa Gregory. Oh my goodness. Is go. that Princess Diana? We have a little bookmark. Oh, the rules. These are the rules. I don't know where they came from. Probably right there. Okay. That was wicked fun. I love all this book stuff. Oh, that's a little squeaky. Needs some WD on it. No, that's oh, a that's nice squeak bad. though. That's ten that's out of ten. Ten out of ten squeak. Okay. Oh, there we go. What? What is that? We got lies that Chelsea Handler told me. Okay. I don't. I, don't know what that is. I can't imagine what that's about. Okay. We also got. Oh, this looks weathered and good. Walking disaster. Okay, maybe that's not <gasps> Ooh, a good one. Blurbed by Colleen Hoover. That's. I don't that's even know what that means. Me what was the plot? Oh, um, Joy. Can you, you love, love someone? someone too much? Travis Maddox learned two things from his mother before she died. Love hard, fight harder. No, I'm good. And I'm walking, good. okay. Great, we all, oh, this looks good. The current between. Oh, love story at sea? Oh. Perchance. Oh, what is the glass castle? I think I actually might want that one. Oh, she looks like a good read. Is it about? Glass castle. By Jeanette, Wall, Jean, Jeanette Walls of Modern Fairy mm. Tales. Fairy tales? Come look at the side. Someday you will be old enough to start reading fairy tales again. Um, what else we got? Michael Connolly chasing the dime. Me. The alchemy of us. How Get humans it? and matter okay. transformed one another. Huh. What's a US? A like gold? gold? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. Tale of two cities and the hour of the star are being left. Okay. You know. We're giving them the good stuff. Oh yeah. Oh, do you remember these? No. I think they had these at school. I don't remember those. They absolutely had these at school. Did they? Yeah. You know, I totally read this. But very nice. Very, very nice. nice. Good, good little. Typically, I just don't really want any of the mass market paperbacks ever. I got the kite runner. That's cool. Hi, sorry. To Thank you. Your video. There's an old 1970 Mustang, and then there's also like a 2011 Camaro, which is just mint. And it's mint. Okay. It's Frida Kahlo down here. Are you seeing the oh, little Yes. Tiles? We've already nice been Nice little tiles we have. I had a 
Iced pumpkin. Iced pumpkin cream chai latte with three shots of espresso. Oh my gosh. We might do a little uh, coffee stop. Starbucks run. Uh, Shouts out. Oh, 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 Beamer. Beamer. What is it? M Sport 335i. Holy moly, me oh my. Spooky scares. And we're debating between Tim's and Starbucks. But you know what? The last few times I've had Tim's. It, it's really just water. It is. Their iced coffees are so bad. like drinking water. McDonald's has good iced coffees. And I even tried the pumpkin spice ice, because now Tim's has ice, uh, pumpkin spice stuff, but like it's, yeah, it's really just water. Maybe their hot coffee is better? I haven't had their hot coffee in. No, McDonald's is good because they took Tim's old stuff. Yeah, apparently and, McDonald's yeah. has good coffee. McDonald's does have good coffee. Anyway. just old Tim's. Okay, here we are. Oh, this one also smells really good. Why is she always sniffing the book boxes? What language is that? Marie Balog. Um. Okay, we have... Why well, can't I even read this? Rising Tiger. <laughs> One Elephant's Weep. Oh, that kind of looks good, but I would just cry as well. We have... Beverly Lewis. October Song. We got the Poltergeist. That's a Halloween-y one. Take a chance on me. Take a chance, take a chance, take a chance on me. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry. This is my book. Thorn Smith. Did we put this in here? We put this in here. Oh my goodness. Nobody wanted it. That's so sad. Oh, honey. This is so weird. I've never given away a book and then... Not had it taken. Been re-encountered with it. That's so sad. Nobody wanted your book. I'm so sorry. You've been in here for years. I'm sorry. We got a... We got a years. We got a Fabio book, though. Should we take oh, this for... This is Bridgerton. What's Bridgerton? You don't know Bridgerton? No. Show? Okay, I've heard of it, but oh, I haven't watched it. this is one of the ones. Isn't that like a Fabio book, though? It's like a... a Fabio? Who's that? Yeah, that guy's Fabio. You is don't he know Fabio? Model? Who's yeah. The lawman? Oh, that looks like a good book. Why would you call him a lawman? The lawman, brother. High school reunion. Who is out here reading these? Clearly no one. Christmas... <laughs> At Thunder Horse Range. Oh, Grandma would like that one. Is it a softcore point? Oh, there's book? someone named Emma. Oh wow. Um, we're no, we're investigating an illegal crossing. Um, okay. Holiday I, I guess rescue it is. at a haunted ranch. Oh, Amish Christmas memories. What is going on? I don't know. Her best friend's baby. Oh my god! Are we? Are these Hallmark books? To protect the child. While she falls for the doctor, question mark? Someone's saucing it up hard. A good right, wife. I think we're out. Alright, so there she is. This one's cute. Look at all the oh, painted rocks. So many flowers. Wow. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, they have flamingo pillows. I love flamingos. Alright, wait, can we get a fit check? Me personally, I'm wearing Carhartt. Mark's 50% off flannel. And then I got on the Lulus and the Nike slides. And a pink hat that Emma forced me to wear. So, there's that. that yeah, they're both my hat. Yeah, the important accessory, the pit vipers. What is that? Pit vipers? Mm -hmm. they're, like, they're these glasses, they say pit viper. Pit. I've never heard of that brand. They say pit viper on them. You never heard of pit vipers? Like what all the frat guys wear, unfortunately. No, well, you that know. would be why. Hi, uh, could I please get a grande pumpkin spice latte? Oh, okay, anything else? Yeah, can I also get a grande iced brown, brown sugar, sugar oat? Shake and espresso. Shake and espresso. We actually don't have oat milk right now. Uh, Are do you, you okay with like almond milk or coconut milk? Coconut milk. milk one of those. Coconut yes. milk, please. And that'll be everything. All right, thank you so much. Have a great day. Steve. For two <laughs> drinks. Wait, how much was your drink? $10? What did you get? A grande yeah. pumpkin spice latte iced with caramel cold foam and an extra shot of espresso. Just let you know. Oh, we don't got, no, drinks. no, no, we gotta make this at home. That's kind of crazy. You know what? Tim's is right here. <laughs> There's Tim Hortons. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. The thing at Tim's anymore is like bagels and farmer's wraps and like their iced coffee is like mid, so I don't really mess with them anymore. It's all McDonald's or Starbucks, honestly. I don't think their iced coffee is even middling. I think it's 
it's just no, it's me. trash. No, nah, it's it's all right sometimes. It tastes like um, alcohol wipes every once in a it while. Does. Yeah, it, it really does. does. It does. It's bad. Cheers, Valio. <laughs> we didn't get any books today yet. We got Starbucks, so who cares? Where is the light coming from? Fall is my favorite season for a reason. I love everything about fall. The color. I love sweater weather. It's amazing. Honestly, I'm a soft. Sweater weather. Fall. I'm a softy. Sweater weather. I love leaves. I love pumpkins. I love sweater pumpkin weather. spice. I love sweaters. I love flannels. I love loom. this caramazzo a couple years ago and that was five stars so if i open this oh god okay so i'm gonna leave kitchen tips us please let there be something miss wyoming wyoming and rice queen of the damned amazing i think i already have this though Jurassic park this is a textbook animal behavior Wait, wow. why do I kind of want so this? So informative. Why do I actually kind of want this? Take it. This looks kind of old though. Snatch it up. Ooh. No. This. What is this? Stain <laughs> A good wow. housekeeping. Wow. wow. This one's informative. The laundry basics. You know what? This is actually, I feel like maybe everyone should have this. The stain with no name. First aid for stain. You know what, ballpoint pen. How do you get off a ballpoint pen? Banana. One has, I found a little bookmark. Oh, it's a Valentine's card to Mandy from Alana. Hope your wow. Valentine's Day has lots of nice surprises. Oh my oh, goodness. This was totally someone's like elementary school book. I have All American Boys. I don't know any of these. No, no. It's striking out today, but that's really just a good thing because you don't need more books. Look at this, it's like a little house. C'est une petite maison. Whoa, very full today. Ooh. All right, okay. do you want to tell us what's part. in here? All right, we got The Best of Me by Nicholas Sparks, so that's oh, definitely boy. a rom com. We got Dirt by Bill Bufford. Adventuring in Lion as a chef in training, father and sleuth looking for the secret of French cooking. Wow, dude. The Lipstick Bureau. That's definitely about something to do with England. Adland, a global Ooh. history of advertising. Wow. This is definitely about some pirates or something with great black. Yep, yeah, that's definitely about a pirate. A Course in Miracles. What is that? Original edition, the textbook manual for teachers. Oh, what? can I work miracles if I do this? I don't know. I read the book. God's plan for salvation. Okay, this is Ooh. good. A full interpretation Ooh, of and in the, the Sun, the first novel. I have that at home. What is this about? It's about an AI. Oh boy. Whoa. Who did this? This is so cool. It's a nice little book. By, very wow. very quick read. This is really interesting. This one actually has some good ones. Let me read you listen. Is How developed to, to help you finish a book in just a small amount of time. Sorry, what is How this? to find fulfilling work. The School of Life. Oh, wow, dude. Oh, it's got highlights in it and stuff already. Wow, someone That's was really... Nice. Oh, this is actually a very little helpful tutorial. Oh, this one seems like it's about a bookshop that's buried somewhere. It was an Same, accident. Yeah, he is a mechanic. Like, his hand... He's oh, not just yeah. been digging in the dirt. No, like, I, I've been working just, on cars. They're, it's they're just awful. It's kind of the way it is. Yeah, it's bad. Okay. The dirt never No, it's out. fine. I'm just saying you're not, like... <gasps> wow! First person singular! Oh, my goodness. Sorry. Oh, it's got a monkey. I already have this, but... Oh, it's large print, though. Oh, wow. Them. Give that to mom. Do you so remember Pretty Little what? Liars? Pre this is Pretty Little Liars? Yeah, this is the book oh. set. They made a <gasps> large print Murakami. Oh, but I, I do have it. I really don't need a second It's a copy. secret. Can you keep it, it locked? Taking this one to the grave. Microsurfs. Microsurfs. What is this Douglas. about? Who's Douglas Coupland? He writes, like, um, like, think American Psycho stuff. Oh, American Psycho is so confusing. I never, I still can't figure out what's going on in that movie. Mm. Christian Bale nails it though. Healthy. Ooh, that's nice. To my children and all my grandchildren to follow. Let's create a healthier generation, one letter at a time. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh my goodness. 
You know what, hummus. Eggs aren't even eggs. Can't eggs even, aren't even that good no. for you. They're they're high in protein. <laughs> that's about it. They were donating. Goth they were. Oh my goodness! We just went to Starbucks. Unfortunately, we did not have a goth barista, and I'm not a finance bro, so it wouldn't have worked out anyways. Okay. Little house book shelf. Little house book berry. Oh, she Sorry. sniffs everyone. The what? The wood smell. Oh, I'm seeing Penguin Classics, guys. We finally might have something here. Okay, we have Lay of Marie de France. Marie de France. Um, okay, she's the earliest known French woman poet, and her stories and verse are based on Breton tales of chivalry and romance. Wow. Wow. We also have though the Mayor of Casterbridge by Thomas Hardy. So I might do that one instead, I don't know. Or I might just do both of them. I don't know. I don't oh my goodness, are you actually gonna take one? I don't know. We have the Book of the Samurai. That's cool. Is a manual for the samurai classes consisting of a series of short anecdotes and reflections. Okay, philosophy and code of behavior. And another one of the poop Who's best place? Wow, I'm sorry about my hands, guys. I can't help it. Wastelands. Oh, there's something mysterious in here. <gasps> oh, what is that? Four daughter. <laughs> personal key. Four daughter. No, Four child. Oh, no. oh, Emma, this is somebody's personal belonging. Lots Put of love back. and kisses from us all. We sure miss you. Sorry, no new pictures. We'll send some when I get some. Love, mom and dad. Happy Easter. Wow. And they just gave it away like that. Whoa. No, they will they thought they kept it as a bookmark. Okay, we have East of the Merrimack. A fangirl back there by Rainbow. Fangirl? Rowl, which I'm obviously gonna leave right where it is. Apparently you don't have so. fangirl? No, absolutely not. Dang. Okay, so which one? Are you oh, the one on the left. This one? Yes. I was kind of also feeling that. They're always Thomas immaculate. Party. Fun fact about Seabrinks, Michael Scott drove one in the office. If anybody's an office fan, he drove a Sebring. So I am just gonna take um, this little small one. Wow. Although the print is kind of... Kind of miniature. Kind of hideous. But For your poor okay. eyes. Oh, are we finally gonna address the aloe situation? You wanted to tell us your yes. aloe routine? Just take aloe or like any kind of like aloe cream. No, it's not a cream. What, what is gel? it? Aloe gel. You can get it like the sun... sun screen no, no sun treatment sun the sunburn yeah. treatment thing just throw it in your hair it makes it really soft really fluffy it's really good for your hair it's also really good for your skin aloe is like the best thing ever it's also good for like you so like you can eat it if you want but make sure it's not the the sunburn stuff because that that probably won't go over well oh, do you smell that yeah it smells good oh i'm so hungry okay um this is I think might be the last one we go to look at how cute oh my gosh <gasps> oh no Thank you for all of the wonderful books. Sign this to say thank you. Thank you for the books. Thank you for the book. Sign this if you love this book box. <laughs> so in this one, I'm gonna put. Oh shoes! Holy moly, man! Restaurant to another world. Up here we have. Don't stand too close to a naked man by Tim Allen. Oh, Tim Allen. The five love languages. The wow. secret to your reader. This book will change you and will change the way you look at all relationships. Much love, Rachel. We have, hey, is that guy dead or is he the skip? I don't know. There's some know. curling joke I don't understand. Oh. Curling and other stories I wish I'd never written. Oh. Oh, he wrote Malcolm and Me. What is that? You don't remember how we never could watch Malcolm and Me, the TV show? Malcolm in the Middle? Oh. <gasps> at what we found. The general in his labyrinth. I already nice. have this copy, but I already have this book, but this copy. Nice. Wow, and look at the back too. It's penguins. An older penguin? Penguin. 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 Ooh, what are. What are oh, shit. <laughs> okay, we have Robert James Waller, Fierce Kingdom, Deckled Edges, but the cover kind of looks cool. What are deckled edges? Deckled, so like you see how they're deckled? Yeah, why are they like that? Because it's just a style. Do you like it or do you not it's, like it? It, it overstimulation, you know? Yeah, nice. I think I'm into that one. Oh, last summer at Bare Bones. Why are these in the, why are they 
<laughs> this is so much bad. What Photoshop. a cover. Okay, we have a collection of short stories. What's bread in the bone? That looks like an interesting one. What yeah. about murder on the railways? Murder on the railways. We also have this, which I feel like, did I put this here? No, my copy didn't have duckled edges, but I have read The 100 Year Old Man Who Climbed Out the Window and Disappeared. Oh, I remember that. Oh, that's actually a good book. You I do like this? that story. I know the story. I don't know how. It's a good one, know. though. <laughs> Murphy's Child. Part-time parent. Jeez, my hands are literally falling off. Part-time parenthood or full-time family? I don't even know Murphy was shocked to realize that he wanted to be with his tiny son around the clock. Dragons of Spring. Oh, wow. Dragon Lance Chronicles, Volume 3. Wow, dude. Wow. I feel like one of my buddies cool. used to read that in class for fun. Really? This looks like it's from, like, what year? Do you want to guess? I'm going to say... Do I want to guess? Or, 1991. I'm going to say 1992. When was it written? Can we get a date? 1985. Oh, we were both wrong. Damn. Yeah. Oh, look, they put up a new sign. Oh, shoot. Ah, c'est alors le tabernacle. Autumn is here as the weather gets cooler. Cozy up with a good book. Oh, the new cover with the baffled edges. What are they actually no, called? No. Baffled edges. Well, they're kind of baffled. So I'm going to take this one. This is our last. Hey, Emma. Last one today. I guess you could call it rock metal. I think I might be a dad. You're going to be an aunt soon after that joke. I wanted to do just a little book haul, like the two books that I got from the book boxes to close off this video. I'm glad I got to unhaul a fairly decent stack of books that I just didn't need in my life anymore. A good clear out, but I got two. Um, this first one I've never heard of, but it was, yeah, beautiful Penguin Black Spine classic. Gonna add it right to my collection of penguins. Don't know if it's gonna fit or not, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, I've never heard of this. This is the Lay of Marie of France. She belongs to the late 12th century and she's the earliest known French woman poet. Her stories are in verse based on Breton tales of chivalry and romance. I don't know, I just love historical things like this. I'm especially intrigued if it's something from a long time ago that I've never heard of. I've never heard of Mary at all. Sad and I would love to read more. I would love to know more. We have trials and tribulations of lovers and habits of powerfully realized world where very real human protagonists act out their lives against fairy tale elements of magical beings, potions, and beasts. So pretty sure this is going to be a lot, you know, fairy tale stuff, a lot of courtly love stuff. I'm just excited. I really do love reading stuff like this. I really do love reading stuff like this. It always makes me feel like I am, I don't know, studying something or taking a class and um, this copy looks like it's never been read either. So that is the first one that I picked up. And then this next one I do have, but I guess I just wanted a second copy because this one was so interesting that I couldn't not take it with me. So this is The General in His Labyrinth and I already have it in, um, I think it's the Modern Library edition, the hardcover, which was a gift from one of you. Thank you so so very much, so honored. Um, and this is the Penguin edition, an older Penguin edition, but look at the cover. I just think it's so cool. It just screams Garcia Marquez, and I just really wanted this one as well. It looks very well loved. Jose, his oldest servant, found him floating naked with his eyes open in the purifying waters of his bath and thought he had drowned. I cannot wait to read more because, of course, 100 Years of Solitude is my favorite book of all time, I believe, and I've also or I've only read, I guess, that one, and um, a tale, no, a chronicle, Chronicle of a Death Foretold, I think, <laughs> I don't know why I'm blanking on that title, I'm pretty sure it's Chronicle of a Death Foretold, I've read that one too, two that I picked up from the book boxes, I love making these videos, I haven't yet gotten around to making one in Toronto, probably because it's a bit harder to do it here, but I think I would love to give it a shot here, especially because you guys have been 
asking for another episode for a while now so thank you for coming along with my brother and i on this journey i hope you liked seeing him again he said he's been living in nova scotia since we left since my family and i left um he was just like i'm not getting on the plane with you guys i'm staying here and i'm gonna make something work thank you for being here thanks for hanging out it's always a pleasure i hope you're doing well or as well as you can be so until until we see each other again ciao